Okay, we know what... Wait, is he following me? He is. Dog's following me. Alright. I don't think I want to do anything with this room, but I know where I need to go if I need heals. He wants a pet. <laughs> wants to... to rip me apart. Let's see where this goes. Where the hell am I now? Oh, okay. So I keep going down this hallway and then it'll connect basically back into the mansion again. Yeah. Whoa! Okay. Uh... That got me. Oh god. I should probably go get, the, get them healing now, huh? I'm gonna go uh, grab that heal healing stuff real quick. That ah, should be good. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Don't kill me. So Kasha. Ooh. Damn, dude. Can I move this? I can. Is this... Wait, it was gonna let me move it last time. Just, just move it on the corpse, I guess. That's fine. Hey! Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the ammo. Actually, let me do it the cool way. Hell yeah. Okay. Also, I realized I probably should have played this game with actual headphones and not earbuds. So the next time I play, I'll probably use those instead. So I think that I would have gotten more scared than just now if I was if I had my headphones on. Picture of the mansion suspended in darkness. Okay. Let's see if there's any items underneath here. Yep. Take that, so that's three. So yeah, if I could have used one on the dog, I guess. But I have to manually press, uh, press the bumper button so it gets used. Sculptures, I don't think about that. What is this? Light switch? Use the mansion key. Okay. So now we got that whole area unlocked. Back to this room. Which I don't know how to get this thing out of here. Woman drawing water. Don't know. And again, there's not there's nothing back over here. Other than the zombie I killed earlier. Okay. Let's go back and uh, save. Now that we've made quite a bit of progress. Honestly, if I died right now, I wouldn't know 
what the hell I just did. Past, I don't know. Barry. 30 minutes. Oh, Jill. Hey. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Alright, so we made it back here. So clear, clearly I'm progressing the game, right? If I got that cutscene... I'm doing something right. Let's save it on this. I will save it... Wait, 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 hang on. Um... I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'll save over slot one. That's when we started the game. I'll just let, I'll just do it over two, I guess. Let's do that. Use an ink ribbon. Do you need items to save? Yeah, you do. You can only save if you have these ink ribbons, which is why it's like, for me, I have to really restrain myself from having to save constantly. Yeah, I think, I think it's meant to just, I don't know, add suspense, I guess. Because I'm sure there's going to be cases where I die and then I have to redo whatever I was doing before I died, but, um... If I save every now and ag now and again, it shouldn't be too bad, but yeah. Gotta have an item to save. Um, okay. But let's see. We... I could go back to that area that I was just at. Um. Because I don't think... Is that zombie still in here, or no? No, we 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 had killed it. I remember. So we need to find. We're gonna need to find another key that has like an armor or a helmet or something on it. If we want to progress. Uh, hey. Apparently, this was a key that, or. A door that was locked with the, the sword emblem on it. You know, at the bottom of the screen, I can see, like, roaches running around on the ground. Oh. Okay. Well... Someone didn't clean up. A bunch of spices you've never heard before. Or seen before, actually. Let's lock from the other side. Another defensive item. A piece of meat from an unidentified source. I'm trying to grab this, though. Flies everywhere. The dishes are crawling with maggots. Okay. Okay, what are the odds he uh, gets up when I'm walking by him? Pr pretty likely, right? this the power doesn't seem to be turned on okay
So I guess there's nothing I can do in here then. App says in progress. So there's like an item that I still haven't found yet, apparently. Okay, well, I can't do anything with this until we find power, so... Let's just back out of here. Is that... What was the button to run again? X. I don't, I'm pressing X and I don't feel it. I don't feel like she's running. Okay. What's this? I guess I'll shoot. Dead or not? I missed. Probably shouldn't waste ammo, but I'm gonna have to come back down here anyway. There isn't anything on the body either. Well, let's go ahead and reload. So, what's the overall plot? Like, why are we here to begin with and can't just, you know, leave? So, apparently, from what we saw in the beginning, is like we were sent here I think to look for I think some of our other members that like died or something there was like a helicopter crash or something outside in the forest and then we were checking around there and then we got ambushed by the undead dogs and then like our helicopter ride just took off so we were lost in the forest and then we just ran towards the mansion um, and that's pretty much it. We're just holding up in the mansion, just kind of checking things out. Other than that, I don't know much more. <clears throat> I don't know whose mansion this is. Um, I don't know why. No, I don't know anything. That's pretty much why we're here. Or how we got here, I should say. So I don't know if we're trying to, like... Gonna try to make contact with... The helicopter dude to pick us up, or... What? But there was me and... There's me, Barry, that guy that was, uh... We got a quick cutscene with. And then there's two other guys that were with us. That are some here, somewhere in the mansion, and I think that's what we were looking for. But other than that, not not much has been revealed. I've already been in this room. Oh, it's crows. All right, then. Um, yeah, let's go back and let's run through here. So 
So we got more health here. Probably, I guess I'll grab one. Grab one and heal up. Lock from the other side. I already came through here. There's more ammo there. Um, lock from the other side. This is a shortcut. Let's go back into the room that I died earlier. The the booby trap room. I forgot what that. There was another locked door in here, and I forgot what it said. It, is it, do I have the key now, or do I still need to find that key? So anyway, I got killed by this thing. Right there, on the spiky thing. I went ahead and tried to grab this key here. And it activated it. These walls came in. This guy blocked my path, and I just pretty much died. Uh, it's locked. Helmet. So I have no idea how you can get this key and not die. I probably have to open up that door somehow and do it, or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe... Well, earlier we found, I didn't pick it up, but there was like a wooden, was it wooden plank or something? I don't know if that would help. Probably not, but I don't know. So let's just run back through the shortcut. I'm not going to pick up that ammo because then I don't have any more free slots. Um, but yeah, I mean, from what I can tell, in this game, it's going to be a lot of back and forth, a lot of finding keys, just like this. There's no further use for this key. Discard? Hell yeah, sure. Give me an inventory spot back. But yeah, it's just going to be a lot of backtracking, probably, and some puzzles and stuff. What the hell? Eight slots is super limiting when one basically has to be your weapon, ammo, and save ribbons each. Yeah. there. I think there has to be... I mean, I don't know if it's in this game. But I know in one of the games, either two or three, and it has like a save room that you can go into and just like store items. I don't know if that's in this game yet or not. Oh, jeez. I'm just unlocking everything. Over here. Oh, he's coming up the stairs. What's over here? Alright, I'm gonna scare back this way. Dude. Let's see what's over here. This might be outside. Yeah. There's more green herbs here. But there's only enough for a few uses. No. Just that stained glass from the front. The pattern in the center resembles a witch. Or like the the stained glass is the one that uh was overlooking the dining room. I think. Whoa. Let's go down here. Kind of thorny plant you've never seen before. So 
Just like a little roundabout area. What's in there? Locked it. So wait a minute. How would I get into these rooms if I didn't have the lock pick? How would that work? Oh, shortcut. Okay. Uh... So that just led to... Well, now that's a shortcut to the... Area where those zombies were at. There's this. Are any of these doors locked? Which door is locked? That door down there is locked. Let's see. Emblem of armor is carved. Well, we could go back and check. Um, we go back and check the, that area where the zombies were at. Cause there was at least two or three doors that we could go in and check. We go over there and look, I guess. Real fast. Then I should probably hop out. Uh... That my brother wants for dinner because I'm sure he probably wants some. Let's see, where are you at? Are you in the same spot? Nope. So he's down there. Uh, okay. It's locked. Helmet. Oh, I want to know what's behind him so bad. That door. That guy's down there. Oh, hell. I mean, we're... I'm just going to have to shoot these guys, honestly. At least him. Oh! Okay, unlocked. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. Another shortcut. Yeah. The, the vibe that I'm getting from this game, with a lot of with like the doors going back to locations you've been to and stuff like that, is this is basically Dark Souls. This is a Dark Souls survival game. I mean, this was before Dark Souls, but you know, the whole coming back to areas is like, I don't know, it's very Dark Soulsy. Metroidvania or Dark Souls, yeah. I never played any of the, the Metroid games. Or, or like Castlevania games. I don't I don't think they're the same thing, but yeah, the I've never played any of those. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like those would be fun to play. Should I, should I try to stab him? I don't, I don't know if I should. He's just vibing, I know. Love Metroid, one of my favorite series. Dude. Yeah, I would like to check that out. I'd probably have to emulate, honestly, because I don't, I don't have any Nintendo consoles that I could pretty much play those on.
Maybe I shouldn't go this way. Because I can, I don't, I pretty much can bypass him if I go back the other way. Um, yeah, let's go back this way. Bye. Try to remember this layout now. That door's still locked. Out this way. I want to see where... What's down the stairs where that one zombie was at. It was this door, right? That guy's just wandering aimlessly around. Yeah, it was this room. I've got to get this dude to like... I don't know. I do have four daggers. I could just use one, I guess. Uh-oh. He's moving. Let's see. Let's see if I can juke him. I think it's best to do it when they're, tr like, around the corner, maybe? He might still grab me. Actually, am I gonna have more room over here? Because I'm guessing, like, I bring him, like, right around here. I stay here, and then I just whoop. Let's come around there. I want to try that. Let's try that. Because I don't think I can pull him away. And then, like, all right, see you later. G go back through here, and then go all the way around, and then he's still standing here. I don't think that's how that works. Oh, hell. Get him over here, and then, um... I walk right into him. Alright, that works. That's fine. What's down here? There's gotta be something good. What? over here it looks like this one's been dead for several hours there are wooden boxes here covered in blood stains I'm going in this room hey they do have save rooms in this game